this is Andrew P. Dore and welcome to my channel. Green is the prime color of the world, and that from which its loveliness arises. In the world of fancy colored diamonds, a green diamond may be the most mysterious and intriguing. Can you imagine what our world would look like without the color green? Green is the color of life, nature, environment, renewal, and harmony. In today's video, we are going to look at some of the most beautiful green diamonds ever found. Pure green diamonds are extremely rare and highly valued ranging from light mint greens to vivid grass greens. Green diamonds can contain a yellowish, bluish, or grayish modifying color. Only a handful of natural green diamonds are introduced into the market each year, making green diamonds some of the most sought after all natural color diamonds. Green diamonds are found predominantly in regions of Africa and South America. The strength of color is one of the most important factors in determining the value of a natural colored diamond. How do green diamonds get their color? The green color appears naturally in diamonds when they are exposed to underground radiation during its formation. However, this process being very rare, it is extremely difficult to discover natural green diamond in the mines. Only the portions of the diamond that comes into direct contact of radiation will illustrate a green hue, resulting in different shading and uneven coloration. A green diamond with uniform hue is very rare to find. A natural diamond of a different color may have a green overtone, such as a blue-green diamond or a yellow-green diamond, but it's very rare to find a green diamond. Tenth on our list is from the House of Tiffany & Company, the rare vivid green diamond ring. Jeweler Tiffany & Company revealed this beautiful rare piece from its 2013 Blue Book collection. A rare green diamond emerges from tiered white diamonds like a cool summer breeze. Ring with a fancy vivid green diamond, and white diamonds in a platinum setting that's almost invisible and beautifully crafted. Ninth on our list is the Sotheby's Green Diamond. In 2009, the rare and exquisite jewels in Sotheby's Magnificent Jewels sale promised to woo one and all at the auction. That is exactly what happened at the sale held on Tuesday in Geneva. In fact, the sale was so successful that many pieces surpassed their estimated price. According to a release from the auction house, the 252 carat green diamond, the largest vivid green diamond ever to appear at auction at that time, which was said to be the highlight of the auction, fetched a final price of $3.08 million. An Asian buyer paid this hefty price for this rare stone, setting a new world record price per carat for a green diamond at auction. Eighth on our list is the fancy green diamond at Christie's. The year was 2008 and the place was the auction house of Christie's Hong Kong. Lot number 2340 made its debut with an estimated price of $2 million to $3 million. It is a square-shaped fancy green diamond weighing 10.36 carats, set in a ring within a pear-shaped and round-cut pink diamond surround. Eventually, the piece was sold with a hefty price of $3.8 million to an anonymous buyer and the diamond was never seen again in public. Seventh on our list is from the Optimum Gamma Green Collection. The exhibit includes 60 gems on loan from New York-based Optimum Diamonds, a company that has amassed the largest collection of natural green diamonds in the world. 
The gems displayed among it cases in the museum's gem and mineral hall cover a wide range of green varieties, from yellow-greens on one end of the green spectrum to blue-greens on the other. Highlighting the exhibition is the Mantis, the largest vivid yellowish-green diamond ever graded by the Gemological Institute of America, at 417 carats. A second headliner is the Shangri-La, a vivid green diamond weighing 3.88 carats. Both of these magnificent diamond was unveiled to the public for the first time after 15 years, when it was discovered in South America. Sixth in our list is the Grusi Green Diamond. Farwaz Grusi is one of the most famous and illustrious jewel collectors in the world. He is the owner of Swiss jewelry company, de Grisogono. In 1998, Grusi purchased a green diamond that originated from South Africa. It weighed almost 100 carats, but after much cutting and polishing, the Grusi green diamond currently weighs only 25 carats. Today, the diamond sits in a gold ring with 382 smaller black diamonds weighing 7 carats in total. Fifth in our list is the Ocean Dream Diamond. Jewelers have been known to artificially create blue-green stones, since it's extremely rare to find a naturally occurring one. However, true fancy green diamonds do exist. The Ocean Dream Diamond boasts a unique deep bluish-green color, evocative of the ocean. The Ocean Dream is the first and one of the only natural diamonds known to the GIA to possess a blue-green hue, making it one of the rarest and the only one diamond in the world. The Ocean Dream originated in Central Africa and is currently owned by the Cora Diamond Corporation. Fourth on our list is the Chopper Chameleon Diamond. The 31.32 carat oval cut chameleon diamond is the largest documented stone in this category. Named after the tiny animal that changes color in order to adapt to the world around it, the chameleon diamond fascinates connoisseurs. Its ability to temporarily change color after heating or long storage in the dark gives it unique status among diamonds. The change in color of chameleon diamonds is ephemeral. The original olive green color of the stone shifts into an intense yellow or orange yellow color, when the stone is kept in the dark for 24 hours or when it is heated to approximately 200 degrees Celsius. It gradually reverts to green when exposed to daylight or as it cools down. The chameleon diamond is the centerpiece of a ring surrounded by a delicate pavé setting of tiny yellow diamonds. The ring was designed by Caroline Grossi Schufel and was presented at Basel World 2008. The estimated worth of the stone in 2008 was $10 million. Third on our list is another incredible find. Unveiled during Paris Couture 2017, De Beers diamonds capture the delicate beauty of the lotus flower in its different stages of life. The first appearance of a lily pad is captured by De Beers in the Awakening Lotus Necklace, with an unusual 18.79 carat rough bluish green mackle, or slender shaped lozenge diamond whose hues remind us of a serene pond. Inspired by the life cycle of the lotus flower, this piece is truly remarkable and a unique diamond on its own. Aurora Green is a 5.03 carat fancy vivid green diamond, one of the rarest color grading for a diamond and the largest of its kind ever to be offered at auction. It was sold for $16.82 million at Christie's Auction Hong Kong on the 31st of May, 2016, making it the most expensive green diamond ever auctioned. Is the superb Aurora Diamond, the largest 
fancy vivid green diamond to appear for sale at auction anywhere in the world. Largest and finest green diamond the at 100 million in the room. Sold for you, sir, $115 million. The diamond got its name from the natural phenomenon Aurora Borealis or Aurora Australis, with the diamond's saturated color and scintillation emulated by the magical display of dancing lights that can only be seen above the magnetic poles of the northern and southern hemispheres. The auroral display appears in a spectrum of colors, but vibrant, vivid greens are the most anticipated and admired. It is only this natural marvel that can fittingly describe the natural wonder that is this diamond. The most famous of all green diamonds is the legendary Dresden Green, a modified pear-shaped bluish apple green diamond of 41.10 carats. The spectacular 41-carat Dresden Green Diamond, which probably originated in the diamond mines of the Golconda district in India, first appeared in the historical record in 1722. A diamond dealer named Marcus Moses offered it for sale to Friedrich Augustus I, Elector of Saxony and King of Poland in 1726. His son, Friedrich Augustus II bought the diamond from the Jewish merchant Dells at the Great Annual Easter Fair at Leipzig, in 1741. A continuous historical record and provenance has accompanied this extraordinary Rosetta Stone of green diamonds ever since. At the close of World War II, it was taken to Russia by Soviet troops, and then returned to Dresden in 1959 and is now on display in the jewelry room of Dresden's Green Vaults. <laughs>